Lisa Kelly is known for her part in the History Channel reality television series, Ice Road Truckers. The show featured the hazards that truck drivers face in the isolated Arctic regions of Alaska and Canada, who forge across frozen rivers and lakes, often hauling oversized loads. Lisa was born on the 8th of December, 1980, in Grand Rapids, Michigan, USA. But when she was six, the family moved to a small farm in Sterling, Alaska. Lisa returned to study at Cornerstone University in Grand Rapids, but only lasted one semester before deciding that the academic life wasn't for her and dropped out. Lisa then took on jobs as a school bus driver, worked at a couple of gas stations, a pizza company, and became the state's freestyle motocross champion. She then trained to become a trucker, and in her own words, after nagging the crap out of a couple of companies, she got a job with Carlisle Transportation, an Alaskan trucking and shipping company. Lisa acknowledges that it was a difficult accomplishment for a woman, claiming that she had to work twice as hard as everybody else to get the job done as fast or faster. The show premiered on the 17th of June, 2007, to a never previously experienced record-breaking History Channel audience of 3.4 million viewers in its 12th year at the time. Tom Beers was one of the producers and a narrator who was also known for the reality TV series, The Deadliest Catch. The new series ran to the end of its 11th season, which wrapped up on the 9th of November, 2017, claiming to be taking a short break from production. The show was nominated for an Emmy and four other awards. Lisa's first appearance in Ice Road Truckers was in season three in 2009, and she continued to take part through season four and five, took a break for season six, and then rejoined in season seven, onwards to the end. All in all, she took part in 84 episodes. The earlier seasons showed truckers maneuvering their heavily laden vehicles over frozen lakes known as ice roads in Alaska and the Northwest Territories of Canada, notably on Alaska's Dalton Highway, which is solid ground but mainly covered by snow. The later seasons were mainly filmed on Manitoba's ice and snow-covered winter roads. IMDB coined the form of trucking as a job to die for. The opening theme song for the first four seasons of the show was Livin' on the Edge by Aerosmith, which well described the dangers involved. The theme music composers were Steven Tyler and Joe Perry from Aerosmith and Mark Hudson, who co-wrote 12 of the band's songs and is also a producer. In 2010, Lisa was the only American trucker to finish the spin-off series entitled IRT Deadliest Roads, which took three truckers to India and presented them with a huge challenge of transporting jet fuel through the treacherous mountain passes between Delhi and Shima and up into the Himalayas for helicopter crews involved in mountain rescues. The Rotang Pass at the height of 13,000 feet, 3,980 meters, was most arduous with the truckers suffering bouts of altitude sickness, dealing with other traffic, and deep snow. The other two truckers, Rick Yem and Alex Dobogorski, gave up before filming ended. Lisa quips that her biggest challenge in India was all the people gawking at her, as they'd never seen a woman driving a truck before. They would pull over and take pictures, or stop dead in front of her, so she had to avoid hitting them. There were many times when the police prevented her from accessing certain parts of the road because they didn't think she would be able to maneuver the truck through. The second season of the series, IRT Deadliest Roads, launched on the 3rd of October, 2010. The truckers handled what is known as the world's most dangerous road, the North Youngest Road in Bolivia. It winds through 43 miles or 69 kilometers of narrow serpentine bends, fog, mud, and landslides with cliffs dropping below for 2,000 feet, or 160 meters, and parts where the road crumbled under their wheels. Then the truckers tackled Peru's precarious switchback roads through the Andes Mountains, hair-raising driving to say the least. So the drivers really had to know their stuff. One slip on those roads could be fatal. When asked whether the Dalton Highway in Alaska seemed easier after driving in these foreign countries, Lisa answered that it does, but that she has to be careful not to get careless, saying, it's still a dangerous road and could get you when you aren't paying attention. Lisa has also featured in various other TV shows, such as The David Letterman Show, Luciana by Night, and in a TV commercial for York Peppermint Patties, plus giving numerous media interviews and contributing articles. 
Currently 41-year-old Lisa is attractive with light brown hair and brown eyes. She is a slim athletic figure, just 5 foot 6 inches or 170 centimeters tall. The 2010 Men's Esquire magazine labeled her the sexiest trucker alive. However, Lisa strove to prove that she is more than just eye candy. Lisa certainly chose an unusual job, particularly for a woman, often driving a Dalton 18-wheel truck from Fairbanks up to Prudhoe Bay's offshore rigs and oil fields. She has said that she loves the sense of freedom the trucking gives her. She was the only female trucker in the TV series until season five, when Maya Sieber joined. Later, Stephanie, Steph Custis joined in season 10. One thing that's apparent is that Lisa is an adrenaline junkie. Her job is full of formidable moments, such as when she's crossing a frozen lake and the ice started cracking. She propelled herself out of the truck, but thank goodness the ice held. One of Lisa's dreams was to fly in a fighter jet with the U.S. Navy Blue Angels Flight Display Squadron. And in 2014, she achieved this dream, which she found more difficult than she could have imagined, quipping. Dreams really do come true. They can come true if you believe that they can, and you go for them. It might not be what you expected it to be, and it might be harder than you expected them to be, but if you want to badly enough, you'll get it. In her free time, Lisa enjoys horse riding, snowboarding, skydiving, and hang gliding, as well as motocross. She's an animal lover, and over the years has had a miniature horse called Rocky, a pet cat, and now a couple of miniature and other horses on her Wasilla property, where she owns a home. Whilst working on ice road truckers, deadliest roads in the Himalayas, Lisa chose a puppy called Ramper Jackson to accompany her. Her Indian helper, Tashi, helped her to take care of the dog who was given to one of the producers of the show once filming was concluded. Lisa's romance began when she met Travis Kelly, a full Aleut native Alaskan and an ardent dirt bike rider while purchasing a Kawasaki 125. At the time, he was a motorbike mechanic and worked at the shop where she bought her motorbike and met up again on a racetrack when Lisa was racing. Travis invited her to watch him perform in a dirt bike freestyle show. Their first date ended up with him damaging his shoulder, an injury known as a separated shoulder. They dated for four years before they married in 2008 and apparently are still married, but possibly not together. Lisa hasn't mentioned him in her recent social media posts and recent posts by Travis suggest that he's with someone else. Daryl Ward joined Ice Road Truckers in season six and soon became a firm favorite. He and Lisa would often partner up on long hauls and became good friends. Lisa spoke to Truckers News about Daryl when she was interviewed at the Great American Trucking Show in Dallas in 2006. She said she found it a blast to work with Daryl and that he was like a big kid at heart and like a big brother to her. Shortly thereafter, on the 28th of August, Daryl died in a tragic plane crash in Montana at the age of 52. So what's Lisa doing now? After the end of Ice Road Truckers, Lisa, who was one of the most popular stars of the show, kept her audience's attention by sharing positive statements with the hope that the show would reignite. But it hasn't happened. She made public appearances, as well as standing in for The Ellen Show. On the 10th of March, 2016, she started promoting brands and proudly announced on Twitter, Team Lisa equals Team Delo. Proud to announce that I'm working with Chevron Delo. When it was obvious that Ice Road Truckers had breathed its final breath, she was released from her contractual obligations and was employed by Chevron Delo as a brand ambassador. The downside of her new position is that she had to leave her home in Wasilla and her beloved horses and move to Fairbanks, Alaska. In a YouTube video on the 22nd of September, 2021, she relates that she might be gone for a couple of years and tearfully kisses her horses goodbye. As an indication of the importance of Lisa's job and that of the company, the Delo brand of engine oils, lubricants, and coolants are used for a variety of heavy-duty applications for buses and trucks, as well as construction, mining, and agricultural machinery. Just as a matter of interest, Chevron, initially the Standard Oil Company of California, SoCal, was founded in 1863 by John D. Rockefeller and Henry Flagler and at its peak became the largest petroleum company in the world. Rockefeller sat at its helm as chairman until he retired in 1897, and the success of the company contributed to his becoming one of the wealthiest people in the world. 
Chevron, one of the largest companies in the world, is one of the successor companies of Standard Oil and has its headquarters in San Ramon, California. However, that's not all Lisa's doing. That's what she loves best, so she hasn't stopped trucking along those icy roads. On the 16th of October, 2021, she posted a video on which she had spun out on the ice, but luckily she was able to right the vehicle without any serious consequences. She appears at various trucking shows, has her own online shop, and best of all, has bought a brand new truck, a Peterbilt. With that, in February 2022, she started a new business called Arctic Fox Trucking and launched a video series on her YouTube channel, followed by almost 40,000 faithful fans. She also posts regularly on her Facebook page with over 900,000 followers. Lisa has claimed that her salary on the show was not that great, as it wasn't much more than the usual trucker salary. However, according to authoritative sources, her net worth as of mid-2022 is estimated at around $600,000. All in all, Lisa is an inspiration and was thrilled that Ice Road Truckers revived the image people held of truckers. She has a genuine love for life and wants to live it to the fullest, quote, with the precious time that I've been given here on earth. One of her favorite things to say is, I'm the only one living my life, so I'm going to live it to make me happy. I can't live for other people, and I hate when other people judge my life because I'm having fun, rather than just live their own lives so they are happy with themselves. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.